younger brother of the small of the four Smiths, led of course by Paul and the British super middleweight boss gets our action started. He's possibly in line for to challenge for the WBO championship against Arthur Abrahams later in the year. So can't afford any slip-ups here at all against Spanish visitor David Saribia. Commentators Nick Hawling, Jim Watt, but first, let's get to the MC. Ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to the Motor Point Arena here in Cardiff, Wales. Eddie Hearn's Matchroom Sport proudly presents a night of championship boxing sponsored by 888 Sport, Lonsdale and Swelterwear. We are live on Sky Sports, continuing to bring you the very best ringside seat in the business and a very warm welcome to the viewers joining us live in the United States of America on AWE, a wealth of entertainment. Welcome to Wales. All the officials have been appointed by the British Boxing Board of Control. Stood in charge, John Reese QC and our area representatives are Mark Warner and Ron Pepet. Inspectors, Kevin Fulford, Paul Gooding, David Page, Jeff Williams, Will Reese and Charlotte Davis. Our medical officers at ringside are Drs. Kremen, Dr. Davis, Dr. Fawkes and Dr. Western. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to get the action underway with eight rounds international super middleweight contest. Introducing to you firstly fighting out of the red corner wearing the black trunks trim with gold weighing in the 12 stone two pounds three ounces with a 12 fight record seven wins two inside the schedule distance three defeats two draws from Blano, Spain ladies and gentlemen please welcome David Sarabia and across the ring fighting out of the blue corner wearing the black trunks trimmed with yellow weighing in the 12 stone three pounds nine ounces 37 fight record, 34 wins, 19 inside the schedule distance, and just three defeats. He is the reigning British super middleweight champion from Liverpool and part of the amazing Smith family. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Paul Smith Jr. Timekeeper at the bell is David Walters, and our referee in charge of the action is Clark Jocelyn. This is eight. Three minute rounds. Eddie, oh, you both know the rules, what's expected. Obey my commands. Above all, defend yourselves at all times. Touch gloves. Yeah. Clark Jocelyn, the third man in the ring. And what a few months this could be for Paul Smith here. The reigning British super middleweight champion could be 31 minutes away from a shot at a world title. That's all the talk. And it's out there, it's public and it's official that Smith could be getting lined up to face Arthur Abraham, the WBO champion in Germany in late September, early October. But first, he's got to come through here against uh, the Spaniard, David Sarabia, who's tough, Jim. He's been on the floor before, but he's never been stopped. It's amazing to look at him now. He was, he was boxing as a heavyweight as a junior, but has slimmed himself down to super middleweight and brings some toughness. So this might be a tricky little workout for Paul Smith. Yeah, it could be tricky, but it could be exactly the kind of workout you, you need. The last time we saw him out against Ian Hamble, it was just like a glorified spa. But this is the type of match that will prepare him uh, for the world title shot if it comes his way. I mean, boxing at super middleweight at the same time as Frotch, uh, Groves and De Gale, you're, you're never going to find it easy you know, to, to get yourself ahead. So Paul's had it tough. I think he fully deserves a shot at glory. And I hope that uh, fight holds together for later in the year. But this, as I say, is a good match to sharpen him up. Yeah, he's been caught in no man's land a little bit, Paul Smith, recently as well. Because, as you say, you've got the uh, you've got those three elite level super middleweights, and then you know he beat Tony Dodson to win the title back in June. His brother Callum is rising through the ranks, but other than that, they they basically can't get an opponent for him for a, for a British title shot. Rocky Fielding is the only guy out there, and they keep trying to make that one. And Rocky has his own plans and has said, "Well, no, I'm going in my my direction. Thank you very much." So. Paul's been kind of in limbo a little bit. Couldn't get an opponent for him to defend the British title here, so in box the Spaniard. And I get the feeling, Jim, talking to him, that, that, that Smith has decided, yeah, the British title, I'm going to have to just leave that behind now and go for it with Abraham. That's, that's the shot at glory. Oh, oh beautiful, that's a nice. beautiful right hand. Well, I say he's been on the floor and not been stopped. Well, he's on the floor in the first two minutes here, Sarabia. 
his legs are still strong. I don't think he was badly hurt there. You know, the punches that you don't see are the ones that cause the damage, and that was a beauty. But, uh, you know, he coped with a knockdown well. His legs were steady as he got up. So there's still maybe a little bit of work to do for Paul Smith. But that was a beautiful shot. Well, that was the essence of Paul Smith right there. Always a big, big puncher. And he'll carry that puncher's chance into a world title fight, if assuming it comes off later on this year. Yeah, and you want to be taking a big performance in to, to a world title shot, you know, so, you know, something along those lines. If we can just keep the, keep the tempo going here, a stoppage would be perfect for him. Just taking his time, not rushing into anything. Very experienced, of course. Wall got him with another right hand, followed up with a left there as well. You know, that's the second time that the right hand lead has done its job. So that, and then finish up with the left hook. And that's exactly what he's doing now. And he's taking some punishment here, Sarabia. And he needs to hear this bell. Well, Smith's been on his case right from the get-go here. Very impressive three minutes from Paul Smith, who's not been that busy in the last few months since beating Tony Dalton for the British title in June. He just had that fight against Jamie Ambler in December. But talk about... Uh, an introduction to boxing in the UK. How about this for David Sarabia? Now, this is a different Paul Smith to the one we saw in December against uh, Jamie Ambler. You can see, you know, he's sharp, he wants to impress, and that was a beautiful right hand punch. Uh, full credit uh, to Sarabia. He took it well, his legs were steady, his eyes were clear when he got back up. But uh, that certainly forced him onto the defensive, and uh, I think he knows how tough a night he's in for tonight. That was terrific. Deep breath, nice, patient, good boxing, slip, slip, little faints all the time, all right, German? Keep your head nice and still, Paul. Paul. Keep really still, yeah. man. Right. Joe Gallagher, the trainer. And just in the back of the right. shop there, Anthony Crawler. Never improving like that. He's hoping for his own shot of the world title at some point. Round two, then, of this eight round. I talk, we talked about Paul Smith not being too active lately, but Sarabia. His best fight was 15 months ago. He lost a split decision for the Spanish title. And then was inactive for about 15 months. Came back last weekend with a little tune-up against the winless novice. So there's a bit of rust there for him to get rid of. I think uh, Smith shook that off with that right hand. See, Sarabia, he does make mistakes. You know, you can see the way he's reaching with his punches. He's making one as I'm speaking. And uh, Paul, nice and compact, he's drilling the punches home. So, yep, I mean, I, I can see a stoppage here. There's a, there's a huge gulf in class. Sarabia has his toughness, but uh, I don't see him uh, that holding together for eight rounds. Well, he was hurt more than once. I mean, the knockdown certainly hurt him. Looking for the uppercut there, Smith. Didn't quite come off for him, but he had him in trouble at the end of the round as well. He was definitely hurt, and I think he's getting shaken up here in this second round as well, as Smith is clinical tonight. Looking for the body shot, then the switch back upstairs. Missed with the right hand, followed up immediately with a couple of lefts, and Sarabia is coming apart here. And Clark Jostin might have to make a decision here because Smith is teeing off and Sarabia is just getting beaten up. And that had to happen. That was ruthless from Paul Smith. If you're getting ready for a world title fight, that's the way you do it. Yep, that's exactly the kind of performance that Paul Smith needed tonight. I thought this man would have taken him a few rounds uh, more th than he managed to do, but there was a huge gulf in class. And uh, that's the Paul Smith at his best that we saw tonight. So he knows there's a, a huge opportunity on the horizon, horizon, and, and that's exactly the kind of performance you want to take into that. That was terrific tonight. Everything, you know, the concentration was there, the tight defence, the chin was always in the right place, and the power in every punch, that was bang on. Jim didn't waste anything either. He was so clinical with it. It was terrific, and you know that the sharp jolting right hand lead followed by the left hook. You know, textbook stuff. And uh, the, the lack of defence and the fact that Sarabia was making regular mistakes, even in the short uh, time the fight landed. I mean, look at that. No defence whatsoever. A sickening uppercut landed. I mean, full credit to Sarabia. You know, he didn't quit. He tried to hang on in there. But no defence, no composure, and uh, facing a power puncher who is in a completely different class to him. So it was just a case at this point, uh, how long would the referee take to make up his mind? And thankfully, it didn't take too long. Yeah, that, these are terrific punches, Nick. That is absolutely a perfect stoppage as well. He was unravelling fast, pretty much defenceless. 
and uh, Clark Joplin said, I've seen enough of this. And so a first stoppage against the name of David Sarabia. Well, I don't think he's been in any with anyone of uh, Paul Smith's class. That's exactly what the eldest of the four Smith brothers wanted ahead of that world title shot. Ladies and gentlemen, timekeeper David Waters has recorded a time of one minute and 17 seconds of the second round with Sarabia in no position to continue. Therefore, your winner from Liverpool, Paul Smith Jr. Thank you, well, that's what Paul Smith wanted. He will now put himself in mothballs. You won't be seeing him again until that fight against, he hopes, Arthur Abraham. Lots more to look forward to tonight, of course. We've got quite a bill here.